Everyone's making a high speed. There he goes. We're here at Sun and Fun. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm getting to talk to an old friend of mine. And I don't know which one of us is the older. That doesn't matter. But Greg and I go way back in hang gliding. This is Greg Westbury. And uh, long before we talked about airplanes made out of aluminum, we talked about airplanes made with Dacron wings and such. Anything so, that would fly. Anything that would fly, and we're still doing it. So welcome to Centerfine, Greg. Uh, we are standing in front of what, and tell me just a little bit of the background of this airplane. This is the uh, Thatcher CX-4. It's been designed around a Volkswagen engine by David Thatcher. Uh, David Thatcher did the engineering here and did the design work and wanted a good looking airplane that is easy to fly and easy for the first time builder to build. Ah, okay. So what kind of thing makes it easier to build than let's say another kit, Greg? Well, when David designed this airplane and began to build the first one, he kept the home builder in mind. Not just the home builder, but the first time home builder. So as the way some of this construction has been put together, it's been done in such a way to where the first time builder will find it easy to do. There's no special tools needed to really build this airplane. Uh, you've probably got the tools you need already to scratch build this airplane. A drill bit, a, a screwdriver, and a pliers. That's it. Clico might you may have to buy a set of Clico pliers and some number 30 drill bits. Uh, but uh, as far as bending the metal, um, it gives you plans for building a work table out of plywood and two by fours and a piece of uh, three by three angle iron that you can do all your bends around. And uh, it just makes it very simple and easy. So it's a scratch build kit for everybody, is that it? Or do you supply some elements to it, Greg? Right? It started out as a scratch build kit. And a scratch I, build for our, uh, our viewers that don't know means you get a set of plans. And, and, and in that case, you go buy materials and everything. That's a, some people love that, but that's a pretty laborious job. So yes. you could start with that, but? Well, when I began scratch building mine, I had all the equipment in my shop to manufacture these parts. Now it's going to take longer for me to manufacture a part with CNC equipment than I could actually do just one by hand. Ah, okay. But as I began building mine, I thought, no, I'm going to make this part on the mill, and I'm going to make this part on the mill. So as I began making parts for my airplane, I realized pretty quickly that I was going to have a kit. So I thought other builders could benefit from what I was doing. So I went ahead and developed a tail kit, uh, developed a spar kit. And now the wing kit for the CX-4 is complete. So we've got a complete tail kit and wing kit for the CX-4. And we're beginning development work on the CX-5, which is the tandem two-place ah, okay. version of this airplane. Yeah, what we're looking at here is a single-seater, which right. personally I love. I like single-seater yes, airplanes. Right. Me too. This They're is my, just this sort of, uh, there's only one person you got to worry about up there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can just, I don't know, somehow they're, they're nice. But a lot of people want to take somebody else along or need some instruction right. in how to fly it. Maybe not for hire. It's an experimental amateur built only, right? You're not doing an LSA kit at least yet. Right. But it is, an L it is qualified as LSA. Uh, yeah. Well, it's a sport pilot can fly. Right. A sport yeah. pilot can fly right. the okay, aircraft. Good. And we're, we're pushing in that direction. Okay, great. So a kit means to me that I would have some parts that maybe I didn't have to bend. Would that be accurate? Or Correct. do I still have to do that part? Uh, the, uh, all the... Bent parts come bent. Okay, so, so you're going to make that part, which frankly for me, I would go, ooh, I don't know. What if I what if I bend it wrong? I'm buying more metal. What if I just don't know I did it wrong and I install it anyway? Exactly. So something that's already done would be a lot better. For me. Right. Uh, all the kits come pre-bent, uh, pre-drilled with matched hole tooling. Oh, they so, do. Okay. So there's no layout involved. And the uh, builder, what he does is he fine tunes the parts before final assembly. As the parts come out of the box, it will clico together. And as he's doing that, he's fine tuning his ribs, maybe even doing some deburring so that he can clico the unit together and get ready to drill out for the final size for the rivet holes. Okay, well, we know the matched hole concept. There's many kits that are doing that now. But that's a long way from scratch building. That's a lot of extra assistance for the whole building. Yes, I would think it would cut his building time substantially. Substantially. What, with the kits that you're assembling for the CX-4 and I suppose later the CX-5, Greg, what kind of build time are we talking about? Well, to scratch build the CX-4, the uh, estimated time or the average time runs out about nine, 800 to 900 hours. So okay, with that the kits, sound so bad, they even scratch build it. Yes. Right, that's, you know, so that's the, the hardest possible. Right. Or the, the most laborious, I guess I'll say. Maybe not right. hard, maybe you love it, but... 
Uh, but that's that's pretty quick, actually. Yes, it's not bad at all. Right. So now with uh, kits, what can you cut that to? I, I would uh, easily in half. Really? Easily okay. in half. So four or five hundred hours. Yes. Even for a new builder. Even for a new I mean, builder. That's what it was designed for, you said. Yes. So okay. Or maybe even less. Well, that's that's pretty good. And what engine are you using? Still a VW engine? Yes, both aircraft were designed around the Volkswagen engine. And um, and where does a builder get a Volkswagen engine? Well, Great Plains is a great source. Okay. Uh, he can build up his own engine with parts from Great Plains, or he can buy a running engine from Great Plains or Revmaster. Uh, we chose the Revmaster using the CX-5 uh, simply because it's already been run and it's ready to go. And how much power does that do? How mu First of all, how much power in the single-seat CX-4? Okay, and the CX-4, it flies really, really good on 50 horses. 50, is it's enough. It's surprisingly huh? good. Our uh, test pilot, who's a rather larger guy than me, I was really surprised at the climb rate he got. It was almost 1,000 feet a minute. Is that right? Yeah, yeah 50 horsepower doesn't sound like much. It does. This airplane does great it on 50. Doesn't have a lot, I mean, it's a small airplane, so it doesn't need a lot of wing air, but it's a really small wing here. 24 foot wingspan. 24 foot span. Turn it around in its own shadow almost. Yeah. That's, uh, that's cool. And yet it climbs at a thousand feet a minute on 50 well, horsepower. About. About, yes, yeah, right. And, uh, but he's a, he's a pretty substantial guy who enjoys a hamburger, it looks like. So, yeah. uh, um, I think the published climb rate is 700 feet a minute. Okay. Because, uh, David Thatcher is a very conservative man. He doesn't want to misrepresent anything. Good for him. So we'd rather be on the light side. So I think it's published at about 700. Yeah, but our test pilot may give you some other stories. Uh, cold day, you know, didn't expect it to come off that quick. I was suddenly, I it was climbing almost a thousand feet up. There I was, a thousand yeah. feet up. Yeah, I got, I got the drift. Okay, okay, good. In the CX-5, how much power will the still a VW engine? Right. You get more juice out of it somehow? Yes, the Revmaster is in the 80, 85 horsepower range, okay. and for two people, we want the extra power. And that's going to be enough. That's still yes. kind of fairly low power for a two-place airplane. Right. Which I'm looking at your hat as I look at you here. I can see the intended look of the airplane. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot more airplane because it has to be to accommodate two people. So. Right. We have images of it flying on the internet. Um, you can go to David Thatcher's site, Thatcher Aircraft. Uh, you can also go to the uh, builder's site, the builder's community, and also the Yahoo group, Yahoo group for the CX-4, and you'll find a lot of information and videos of the aircraft flying. And uh, you'll, you can see the CX-5 flying there as well. We tried okay, to good. have it for the show, but just couldn't make it. Okay, good. Well, um, how many uh, how many CX-4s are CX-5? There's, I assume, is there one? One is there flying. One? Yes. Okay. So CX-4s. How many CX-4s are out there? There's over 40 CX-4s now flying worldwide. Is that right? Uh, there's over 2,000 fleet hours accumulated so far. There's five or six that are about to be completed now. So the number of flying is about to begin to mushroom. Well, that's how it works with these kind of kits, especially right. a scratch belt before you started doing oh. kits to support builders. Right. It right. just takes a while. It does. Because the Vans people know that with tens of thousands of kits out there, but there's X number of flying, and it's a good bit less than that. Yes. And, uh, it just takes a while. It does. Well, that's great stuff, um, Greg. A lot of good information yeah. about this. It's a really pretty little airplane, and someday I want to get up in it, but uh, we'll wait for the CX-5 to come around so I can get a little training in it or whatever. Where can we find out some more information about your kit effort or the airplane or both? On the websites. Uh, if you just Google Thatcher CX-4, you'll hit all the websites. If you go to uh, Thatcher Aircraft, you'll, you'll see the links to all the other websites, the videos that we've seen, uh, links to me, uh, West Bear Manufacturing LLC, providing the kits and what kits are available at this time and where the other kits will be available, uh, which will be very shortly. Within the next six months, I should have completed both kits. Completed. Okay, so you're doing both kits then that month. Okay, yes. great. Well, that's great stuff. So ThatcherAircraft.com. We'll put it up on the screen for everybody. They'll see it on their computer, their iPad, smartphone, TV, whatever it is. There's a lot of ways to watch YouTube videos now, and they see a lot of them, so they'll see you on there. Greg Westbury, I'm Dan Johnson. We're at Southern Fun, and you can find lots more information about all kinds of light aircraft on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks so much for joining Greg and I here at, at Southern Fun.